we are given a question that is find the range of elements in a given stack and what is range range is the difference between maximum value of element in the stack and minimum value of element in the stack so let's take for example like if we have a stack this is the top so we have elements 11 10 25 27 and 2 so we know that okay max is 27 here min is 2 so the range is 27 minus 2 which is 25 okay and you have now to find a order 1 algorithm a constant time algorithm that will give me the range of the stack so how will you do that again when you are in the interview think aloud okay this is very important so what will you do in a very simple way so we will do is that one simple algorithm can be we will pop out all the elements of the stack and then what will happen so we will pop out all the elements and it will be a kind of loop so for i is equal to 1 to n all the elements in the loop i pop the elements out so n is equal to pop and then what will i say if n is greater than max then max will be equal to n if n is less than min then min is equal to n so if i follow this what will happen so finally i will have max and min and initially i let us initialize so have min is equal to some very large number which is not there the largest in the stack something like that and max is equal to some very small element zero okay so what happens now is that while i go through it so i will pop elements so first i pop two now two is greater than max is max is true so now max is two and min will be what min is also so two is less than the min so min is also 2 now next we pop 27 now 27 is greater than max so max will now become 27 and 27 is not less than 2 so min is 2 then we pop 5 5 is not greater than 25 neither less than 2 nothing will happen next we pop and we get 20 nothing will change we pop 10 nothing will change 11 we pop and we will not get anything so what is the order of this algorithm so it's order of n okay because i am traversing the whole stack but it is asking me that i want a order one algorithm so what we will do so that's now the main issue we want order one so this means i need to have something to have the stack directly give me the range that is difference between max and min so what do i need somehow i feel that i should maintain whenever i push so i should there itself update the max element and the min element okay so how should i write let's see how should i write a push so we will write something like so whenever i am doing a push push in int n so what will i do i will do stack dot push n and if n is greater than max 
I will update max is equal to n. Okay. And what? Also, similarly, if n is less than, if n is less than min, so we will update min is equal to n. So I think now it should do, isn't it? Is there any problem? I have written a push now. It's wonderful. Whenever I get an element to be pushed which is greater than maximum, I will update the maximum. Similarly, when I have an element which is lesser than the minimum, I will update the minimum. Is this okay or is there any problem? Oh, all is good, I think. Anybody? Oh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, what will happen if I have a pop? If I pop and it was the maximum element, so now that will be popped and still when I ask for range it will have max minus min which will be something wrong because it might be that I have popped the smallest element but it is not updated so what we will do so for that what we see is that we need even stacks to maintain the maximum and the minimum elements if I want to give straight away the range in constant time so when I have, so I will have to define public class, okay, and it let's say main, and I will define, I have to define a few data structures, okay. So first will be public int max, so these I have to make, okay, isn't it, public int min so these i need isn't it because these are the two that will help me find the range in constant time i will just find difference of max and min and show that this is the range but what else because in pop can happen and we saw that max and min might not get updated so we need stacks for those also so first stack we will have is for public stack st then we will need stack for what stack min stack so this will have the store the all the minimum values that were updated then we will have public stack max stack so what will happen now this will be updated whenever a new max comes so it will be pushed in Similarly, again a new max comes, it will be pushed in. If a new minimum comes, it will be pushed into the min stack. If a new max comes, it will be pushed into the max stack. But all the elements will be pushed into the stack itself. So now what happens? Initialization. Some of the initialization, what we will do? Have the constructor. I will write st is equal to new stack so this is the java.util class min st is equal to new stack max st is equal to new stack and we will have max is equal to 0 and min is equal to some element so that it is larger than all the elements in stack so let's say something very big uh, for my case so this is now the constructor now what we see let's try to write the push function so I will call my push function as push in okay and int n so that's what i make here then what will i do first thing i have a push so i will do a call st dot push new integer n okay so this is done i have pushed the element but now what i have also to update the max and the min so if 
n is greater than max what i should do i should update max so then max will become n and where should it also go it i should also put it into the stack of max stack so i will do max st dot push n okay similarly what happens let's say that if n is less than min then what we will do i will say that okay min is equal to n and min st dot push n i will do okay so this way so now i am done with my push so what happens now let's say i am pushing so i have a few values okay 10 then 20 then 12 32 45 5 and 1 okay so these are some of the values i push into the stack and let's see what happens so i have a stack i push 10 so it will so i have now three stack okay so i have three stack this is st this is min st this is max st so when i push 10 so now what will happen i will push it in here 10 here that is fine now what happens is n and max is zero initially so is 10 greater than max it is so max will become what max will now become 10 and is n greater than max yes and so max is n and max st dot push n so i will push 10 here also is n less than min so min was initially very big number 10000 or lakh so now 10 is less than min so min is equal to min will also become 10 and min st dot push 10 so okay so this will be min st and max st both will have 10 now next is 20 we push so now what happens so let's see 20 So 20 is greater than 10, so max will now become 20, and max st dot push 20 will be pushed here, and every new element will be pushed here. Next, 12 will come. So let's see. So 12 is not greater than 20, so nothing will happen here. But 12 will come here. 12 is less than 10, no. So it will not go anywhere here. next what happens 32 comes 32 will be pushed here 32 is greater than max 20 so now max will be 32 and it will be pushed here also and 32 is not less than min so now what will happen we will push 45 45 is greater than max so max will be 45 will come to the stack and nothing will happen to the min now we push 5 so 5 will come here and then 5 is less greater than 45 no 5 is less than minimum 10 so what will happen 5 will be pushed here finally what will happen we will have one here in the stack one is not greater than 45 here 45 would have also come so one is not greater than 45 nothing will happen but one is less than min 5 so one will come here so this is the stack now so now let's see how to write the pop function okay so pop function we are going to write so void pop out and what we should write here so integer a is equal to integer 
st dot pop so i will have to pop from the main stack then i have to see some of the what will be the change in the max stack and min stack so if a is equal to max i have i am popping out the maximum element then what should i do so i should pop it from the max st also dot pop i should pop it from there also and hence whatever was the previous max it should become the new max so it will be max is equal to max st dot peak so this is the new max similarly if a is equal to the min value so min has been popped out so what should i do i should pop it from the min st dot pop also and now new min will be equal to the previous min in the stack min st dot peak so peak doesn't take out the pop the element it only finds give us the element so this is about popping out okay so now let's see we call in the stack what we populated pop let's say i called three times so three times pop was called let's see what happens so when i call pop what will happen initially i call out pop so let's draw it till here to not have confusion so pop i do one comes out okay now what happens i have got one is one equal to max no is one equal to min yes it is equal to the min which is now so it became five then it became one so yeah it is min is equal to one so what will i do i will pop min st from min st also i will pop so i will pop this thing out this has been popped and now what happens so new min is what now min is again 5 max is 45 then again i do pop so what happens so 5 is popped out 5 comes here so then is 5 is equal to maximum which is 45 no is 5 equal to the min yes it is again equal to the min so i pop it out from the min stack also okay next i pop out what again do a pop so 45 comes out and i see that 45 is equal to the max okay so hence what happens i have to pop it from the max stack also so it comes out and now if i ask for the range so i know so 45 came out from here so new one will become 32 so new range will be what i can directly say that new range is 32 minus 5 which is 27 okay so this is the beauty of so now we have order of 1 finding the range but what was the price we had to pay we needed two extra stack okay and if we don't have to have those stacks then it would have been order of n algorithm so this was about finding range of this stack in constant time thanks a lot